Here's what to expect when you run the code in this LabVIEW project. Here we have RT main. This runs on your RT target. This is a headless VI, meaning it has no front panel indicators nor controls, and the PCI VI is going to control it directly. Let's start running the code on the RT target. And now we can start running the code on PC main. Now let's take a look at this error message. You may or may not see this error depending on your specific device. It has to do with the direct access of shared variables. And we need to have the complete address properly defined. I'll show you what I mean here. Let's browse to the current project and underneath the, the RT target we see the shared variables button, LED0, and stop, and so forth. These strings need to be exactly the same. So again, depending on this particular device that you're using, you might need to do some editing as I'm showing here. This little procedure needs to be followed for each one of these variables. And once you get the idea, I'll, I'll go through it a little bit more quickly here. All right, we've got the proper variable names inserted. Let's go ahead and try running again. Yep, this looks better. Now, if you have an onboard accelerometer on your academic Rio device, go ahead and move it around. And this is displaying activity on the accelerometer's Z axis. Try pressing the onboard button for your device and you'll see it state registering right here. When you click LED0 button, this writes the LED0 state as, and then LED3 is the complement of that. You'll notice that, of course, RT main is still running. When you stop the PC main VI, it also stops the RT VI.